Hello Zany friends, welcome back to our channel. I am Lainey. I'm Marshall. We're going to talk about a book review today. Uh, this is The Girls Weekend by Jodi Gearman. So I did receive this book from NetGalley for review. I had been really anticipating this book. It seemed really interesting to me. Uh, I had been reading a lot of thrillers this month and I had not found any that really grabbed me like uh, The Night Swim did, so I was hoping for another one like this. So The Girls Weekend is about a group of five women who haven't seen each other in a while, and they uh, kind of all come together for this weekend at this woman's estate. Um, each of them have some like weird, quirky things about them that the more you get into the book, you dive in and you find out that they all have issues of some kind, obviously. Uh, so one of the women goes missing, and it's the one who owns the house. Now her husband lives on the grounds. There's a groundskeeper also who live, who is on the grounds, but neither one of those guys are like actually in the house. Also, there is her daughter uh, who is in and out of the house. She's about to go off to college, so she's kind of there in the background as well. Um, so this one woman goes missing and they find like blood that's been covered up so they think something has happened to her they uh, are trying to figure it out but they can't because they have been drinking so much that they're hungover so it's very much like the hangover but I, I kind of saw that coming actually yeah so since they can't remember what happened they're trying to piece together everything of like how did this woman disappear is she dead all that jazz. Who's uh, Trunk? Is she really in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that seems like it could be fun. I mean, I, I like the concept of hangover stories where they're, they they need to figure out what they did. Right. Um, but, yeah. Is it... Would you say that this is more suspenseful or more funny? It's not funny. It's not funny. No. Um, so... My thoughts about this book, I was very disappointed actually in this book. Uh, I, number one, didn't really appreciate how some of the characters were portrayed. Uh, one of the characters that had, has had mental issues like manic depression and I believe there was something else that, that was wrong with her, I can't remember. She was really portrayed as someone who was gonna like fly off the handle at any moment and like was severely like unstable when in reality she was just bipolar but they were trying to make her be unstable so that she could further the plot of being a suspect. Yeah I'm not gonna tell you which way that happened. Uh, the other thing I didn't really appreciate was there was uh, a, a character who was Asian who tended to have issues with law enforcement and was basically like didn't want the cops to come to the house because she was like well you know they're just going to like blame me because I'm the Asian person I'm a person of color and everyone's like but has this happened to you in the past and I mean it comes out that there is like maybe one instance where something has happened to her but I don't know if it really had anything to do with the color of her skin and I felt like it was really just being used as like a token you know person of color that is not white who is dealing with it but then trying to like go too far into the movement to make her a suspect also uh for the sake of being a suspect there wasn't really a lot of like depth in these issues I felt like it was just a catalyst for something else. And I think that was what my main problem was. I, it's not that I have a problem with either of these things. I mean, my husband is bipolar, so I, I don't have a problem with any of these things. I have a problem with how they were portrayed in this book, <laughs> is my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I ended up giving it three stars because I just, I, I didn't really appreciate it. And then the ending, I kind of saw coming, but there was kind of like a little bit of a twist. But the twist, wasn't fully fleshed out to me I don't know I, I think I was just I was just expecting too much of this book and I really got let down by it however if you like suspenseful like hangover type stories you should definitely check this out because there is there are some things that happen in it that are very interesting and it was a very you know good read I could read it from beginning to end and I didn't really have a, an issue with the story itself it was just 
some of these plot points and the character development just didn't, didn't yeah. do it for me. Um, so that is basically my review of The Girls Weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and all the information will be down below. So until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.